Hi there, I'm Kim from Crafty Roo Designs and today we're going to be having a look at how to use our poly plates with distress inks. And we're going to try and create some of these effects. So we have got our smoosh effect, our ombre effect and our landscape. And you'll also see I've added a bit of a frame to this one. So should we get started then? First up, you'll need one of our poly plates. Now when you get your poly plates, um, it might be a little bit sticky. Um, so all we need to do is take some water, give it a quick spritz and then rub your finger over it. And what you're doing here is you're just feeding the poly plate. Give it a quick rub and you also get any of the dirt and dust off it. So rub your finger over it, give it a quick dry. You're not, you don't want to take all the water away here, just a little bit, so you can still move your finger over the top. So we're good to go. Pop that down there. So we're gonna start off and create our smoosh effect. I'm gonna take three Distress inks. So we have got here, pick raspberry, wilted violet, and faded jeans. And we're gonna make a bit of a moon so I'm going to take my palest one first, always wait, work palest to darkest. So palest one first and we're going to cover the whole thing. There we go, that was that one. Next I'm going to take wilted violet and I'm just going to put dots and dabs of this one in. And if you notice I'm moving it all around, I'm just adding it too. And then we're going to put some faded jeans on. So I only want a little bit of this one because it's quite a dark colour and then we're gonna spritz. So I need to hold my spritzer quite far away. So you want a good distance between the two. If you hold it here, you can end up with little puddles on your poly plate. We really don't want that. So we want it nice and high up here. And then we just spritz. And what we're looking for on here is bubbles. If it looks like a river, when you turn this thing over, it's just gonna flow like a waterfall. So we don't want that. What we want is these little bubbles. So we can then just turn it over and you've got full control. Then we pop it down, and this is where the fun begins. You give it a bit of a poke and a bit of a prod and tell it where you want it to go. There we go, and then we lift it up. And you end up with that smoosh effect. So I'm just gonna clean my poly plate now. So just give it a quick spritz and wipe it over with the tissue. And we're gonna move on to an ombre effect. Now I'm gonna do my ombre as a kind of sunset, but you could do it as a um, like a fantasy using similar colours to what I've just used um, or you could go for a night sky things like that so now I'm setting up for my sunset so I've got a yellow, an orange and a red so this time I'm going to go all over if I turn my paper around you can see me inking this one up so I'm going to go all over my yellow first there's that one I'm going to move on to my orange now, when we're doing our ombre, we think about our poly plate in thirds. So I'm going to do two thirds in the orange. And you'll also notice I don't do straight lines. Because if you do straight lines across, you end up with straight lines in your, in your sunset. And you don't get them in nature, really. Right? And then we're going to go into our red. So I'm going to apply like one third of this one. So all around the top. So there you have it. That's how you ink that up. You've got your yellow, you've got your orange, and then you've got your red. And then we're going to spritz again. So that good distance between your spritzer and the poly plate. Give it a quick spritz. I've got a spritzer that sounds like a duck today. I'm going to tip it over. Again, making sure we've got bubbles, not rivers. Pop it down. If it's not quite going where you want it to go, just give it a quick poke. And then lift it up. And you get that lovely sunset, in this case, effect. So the final one we're going to do is our landscape so I'm just giving a quick wipe on my poly plate again making sure I can always rub my finger across my poly plate I'm going to ink up for my landscape so this time I am using a green and a blue it really is that simple so when it comes to using your green and blue it's a bit hard to choose which is going to be my palest and my darkest so I'm just going to do a quick splodge on my paper So on this one, I can tell that the green's going to be a little bit darker than the blue. So I'm going to put my blue on first. And the reason I do that is to not contaminate my inks. Because obviously if I put a dark colour onto a paler ink pad, I'm going to contaminate it. Whereas if we go paler to darker, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. And again, I'm not going in straight lines because I don't want a straight lined landscape. I want lumps and bumps like you get. And then we're going to spritz again. Nice space between the two. Looking all the time for those bubbles. And I'm going to turn him over. 
and pop it down. Yep, I'm going to lift this one up. Get that lovely, lovely landscape. Now, they look really nice, but sometimes, if I bring this one back in, can you see? That frame just really adds to it, really makes it pop from the back of your page, especially if you've got like a distressed background or something like that. So I'm going to show you how to do that frame as well. So making sure I've got the same poly plate. I'm going to take, you could use your Memento for this. I'm using Versafine in this case, but Memento works well. Um, if you use like the mini distress inks, that would work too, but it would blend in so you won't get a defined edge. And all I'm going to do is just tap it gently around the edge of my I'm going to move it off my work and um, tap it around gently the edge of my poly plate because I only want to ink up the edge. There we go. Pop my lid back on and then we're just going to line it up. Now this one's really easy because it's a circle. So just get it lined up, pop it down and then I'm just going to rub where the ink is so you don't transfer anything else. There we go and then we lift him up there you go. And there you have your framed landscape. So there you have it. Three different ways of using your distress inks with your poly plates. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.